Oh, babies, you betcha that tender years right here on the Coyote Medicine Show, only on the Hazy Radio Network, your ticket to flight here in the great daylight as well as in the middle of the night. Now, you want to tune in tonight at midnight? We'll have a repeat performance on for five beautiful hours, man. You can take a repeat flight and get the treat just right this time because you might have missed a little last time. You might not have got the icing off the cake or something, so maybe you better go back there and have another look, maybe get another lick in there babies and be real slick uh, after the weekend is over man but if you need a little grounding you need a little help in the middle of the night i'll be there in the form of a repeat performance midnight tonight and midnight saturday night and we'll be back live sunday night with another exciting episode of the coyote medicine show here on the hazy radio network the rockin'est network around the biggest heart you ever found right here on this network baby stay tuned for whatever happens to be coming because it's meant for you babies and just for you alone, too, babies. Each and every one of us, yeah. <laughs> That's how personal it can be here on the Hazy Radio Network. Guys, uh, support the network because they've been supporting us. And, babies, we're just rocking and rolling. Next week, oh, some phenomenal stuff is going on. So I think we're going to roll into a whole new area next week on the Coyote Medicine Show. Beginning Sunday night at midnight, babies. We're going to talk about the real shit here in this reality, man. We're going to talk about our relationships with our extraterrestrial cousins and our space brothers and sisters and our star family and the family in the great beyond, etc. Going into detail now, going to introduce some energies and personalities here that you'll remember from long ago. It's imprinted in your genes. But we're going to bring them forward here, right here live on the Coyote Medicine Show, where you can actually chitter-chatter with them and, and more or less see them live and in person. They won't be visible to you in the radio, but they'll be visible to you in the heart, you know? So we're calling some family in next week. Going to have a little roundtable discussion. Going to explain the way some of the things really are and some of the way things really aren't. It's going to shock uh, a lot of souls out of existence, I'm going to tell you, but right back into it in the sense that their displeasure will be supplanted by the greatest feeling of love. I mean, they will return into the heart, a presence that they were created as in the beginning of time. There's no sense staying there in the admiralty or the generalness <laughs> or any of those other positions where you've been pulling this crap over the people's eyes for years and years and years. So, babies, you're out of business. Sorry about that, but, you know, uh, send us a letter and maybe we'll just think about forgiving you and get on with it. Of course you're forgiven. Just give it a program, babies. Get in your heart. Who cares? We were all playing roles, babies. You too, you know? And nothing dark and deadly about it. You thought there was. You thought you was really being heinous. I thought you were being kind of cute <laughs> in your heinousity. So, babies, just know it's done. It's over. So, you know, because next week is, you know, the introduction. And after that, who knows where we'll go with it, babies. Our great hearts are coming together and there's no stopping it. You know, it's a flow, babies. It's like water downhill. Have you ever tried to stop water going downhill? You can build big dams. You can slow it down. You can make big reservoirs. But you can't stop it. It just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming. And you better have a way for it to flow on through. Or it's just going to take over and wash you away, babies. <laughs> Water's like that. Well, so is this spiritual water of life that's pouring into this reality now. This is the largest shift in consciousness in the record time of history. I mean, in the, the, the Akashic records, as, as you call it, you know, those that are spiritual. This is the grandest shift in the history of humanity since we began this first experience in the first place. And that's looking at it in a timeline way. Take it as a straight up piece of time. It's a culmination of all of the energies we put into the past. It's graduation day. It's the finish of the film. The movie is now going to be edited and presented to the uh, mass of the universe of, of all civilizations that live there, of all societies and collections and tribes and so forth out there across the planetary realities we call life. And babies, you'll be amazed at how close to us they really are. This, it seems like light years. When we step out of this paradigm and into the next, or basically merge the paradigm, well, everything is right there on top of you. You don't have to go anywhere to get anywhere. You can be across the universe in a millisecond. Because, you know, it's along the lines 
of all of us being the same life in everything and therefore you're there in everything and if you want to be present there as a physical presence and commune with the people there in the physical way or as a, at least as a, a material apparition let's call it you're already there you just thought it you're already there because your presence can be anywhere in the universe because your presence is in everything and so you can collect it at any point in the universe at any moment you see that's only one little aspect of the divine magic that we're awakening to now it won't be long babies before everything we've ever seen and known is supplanted by a reality that is so far beyond our conception yet is our conception because we created it in the first place and we're, it's just coming back to us it's gone a long orbit out away from us or we've gone a long orbit from it that's the truth and now we're circled we're all the way circled back and we're coming home to collect the prize that we left behind for ourselves because we knew we'd come back and we knew what time when where how all that stuff so it's all set up and nobody can screw with it it's there it's erected and we're moving right into it it's, it's along the same lines of mother earth being burst right out of the eternal, uh, well, it's, uh, I guess for lack of better words, eternal birth canal. That you know, and it's, it's going on simultaneous. There are many levels of this, many levels of this transition. But we're living each and every one of them right here in this moment, at this time. So, babies, tell your friends. Let's get some excitement generated. Let's get some reality happening here. Next week, the shit hits the fan here on the Coyote Medicine Show. <laughs> And it's going to be real grand, babies, because this is the kind of chit you want around, babies. This is fertilizer that brings forward life, babies. You better get a little of this splatter on you, babies, because it's going to, ooh, it ain't going to hurt. It ain't going to stink. It's going to be putting you in the pink. You know what I mean, baby Jean? We're going there, babies. We finally are taking those steps that will complete this process of ascension. And probably within the next few weeks, who knows? We can't give it time frames, but we know that it's happening and it's happening now and that we're going to continue this process next week with a whole lot more of new revelations, startling revelations, that folks really may not have considered before. Some of you know it already, but damn few, damn few. Everybody else, especially those in the secret societies and the ministries and so forth that conduct all the secret operations, space operations and so forth, these are going to be the most surprised. So you're going to be one around, but want to be around for this one, and you never know. Maybe I'm giving it too much of a build-up, babies. Maybe it's just going to be me and you again. Who knows? But I don't think so. I think we got visitors next week, and I think you're going to enjoy them, man. So, babies, tune in. At the very least, you're going to learn a lot and remember a lot, I should say, about the reality that you live in and its true mechanical aspects, how it really works, what it really is and who you really are in it. Many of you understand this already. We're just taking it up a few more levels, babies. So we're melding away a few more dimensions next week here on the Coyote Medicine Show. Right now, we are sharing, oh, a whopping, whopping, whole oh, huge wave of love with each and every one of you all across this earth, all across this planetary reality and beyond. It's something we create in our heart right now. All of us listen in, all of us tuned in through the heart, all of us tuned in another way. We gather this love together and we project it into this reality as a calming energy, an awakening light that touches everyone inside and further amplifies the process of personal, personal ascension. That means right there inside of you and all these others too. It boils down to the one person that you are. And then there's two that you are. And then there's two hundred that you are. And then two billion that you are, etc. Just come here home to your heart. Let this feeling unite. Yes, there we are. All of us unite. Here we go in flight. And there we are sharing our heart's delight with all of this earth once again. And erecting once again around her this huge pyramidic energy, this tetrahedron, the same as resides around us, around this earth, so that she know now that she has returned to her divine presence. We have reincarnated that which held her in place before at the center of the universe. And this time there will be no releasing her. She has assumed, as she continues this birth, she has assumed her rightful place as the heart center of the universe. And what 
better aspect to be controlling the expansion of life than the mother love energy of this earth. Hasn't she been kind to us? Hasn't she been abundant for us? Hasn't she been a blessing in sharing her wealth with us everywhere we go, everywhere we see beauty all around us, as well as within us and in our presence as well? The human form is admired for its elegance all across the rest of the universe and duplicated many times over by those who aren't quite on the same wavelength we are, but humanity is everywhere out across this universe, along with a whole bunch of other ET presences and so forth. We already know this. Some of us had much personal experience with it, and some of us don't remember too much about it. All of us were born knowing this. All of us forgot it rather summarily as we moved on into this life and got out of the baby diapers and so forth and began to communicate in the verbal ways, you know. Ah, babies. Finally, it all comes, the robin comes home to roost, you know, in the nest, babies, in the nest, to the nest of the heart. This is springtime in the Rockies. This is the blossoming of true abundance for every person that lives here in, about, and above this earth, all across this earth. Everyone returns to that status rather quickly, too, as the lights come on in varying hearts all across this planet and more so and more so and more so. And there we are, babies, back home again in the presence of our ever-loving paradise as only we could create it, as only the heart of the mother could imagine it and put us to work to spin it into reality. You see what a divine harmony this is, how we all work together? What a beautiful life, babies. It, it just can't get any better than this, but it continues to, babies. So never think you're impossible or alone. Know the reality of your heart. Be one with all of this love. And let's let it continue to expand all across the face of this earth and well beyond it, babies. We're touching hearts that ain't been touched in a long time. Our own included, babies. We've been hiding for so long. Welcome home, my darlings, and I'll see you next week with a whole new aspect of flight here on the Coyote Medicine Show. Midnight Sunday, babies. <laughs> and don't forget, Friday and Saturday night, you get some good repeats. So, babies, if you're lonely in the night, come on over here and take flight. We'll be here, and mystically as well as, you know, in a repetitive sense. <laughs> repetitive, there we go. Anyway, there we are, babies. Repetitive, here we go. The Coyote Medicine Show is a presentation of Spirit Wind Productions, a, a production of the universal heart inside of each and every one of us, babies. That's why it's so easy to relate to. We love you, babies. See you next week.